this video will demonstrate how to replace a Danfoss condensing unit. This process applies to several types of refrigerants, including CFCs, HCFCs, and HFCs. The condensing unit we're replacing today experienced a mechanical failure. Before getting started, be sure to disconnect all power to the unit. First, we'll recover the refrigerant in the system using proper field procedures, being sure to take note of the amount of refrigerant recovered. Once the refrigerant has been recovered, it's time to disconnect service wiring to the condensing unit. Remove the electrical box cover, exposing the relay. Disconnect the wires. At this time, loosen the mounting hardware. Next, cut the line set if needed. Note, it may be possible to loosen the flare nuts and use the existing lines. Next, remove the failed condensing unit. If burnout has occurred, a flushing agent should be used following the manufacturer's guidelines. Next, install the new condensing unit and mounting hardware. The old suction and liquid line came to the front. However, the new suction line connects to the back so we'll need to adjust how the lines are configured. While the system is open, replace the liquid line filter dryer. Next, clean off the tubing where it will connect to the new condensing unit. Now, braze the liquid and suction line connections while purging the system with nitrogen. Do not quench braze. Now that the brazing portion is complete, we'll perform a standing pressure test. It's important to never exceed the system design pressures stated on the nameplate. Now that the system is closed, we may want to check for leaks using either soap bubbles or an ultrasonic leak detector. Once the system passes the pressure test, release nitrogen from the system. Never use refrigerant to check for leaks. Always use nitrogen. Once the nitrogen has been released from the system, pull a vacuum down to 500 microns or less. While evacuating the system, connect the electrical service wiring to the condensing unit. While connecting the electrical service, follow the wiring diagram found on the condensing unit. Now that the electrical components are connected, we can charge the system with refrigerant according to the manufacturer's guidelines and reconnect power to the system. With the new condensing unit in place, the power restored and the system charged with refrigerant, verify proper operation and we're done. If you have any questions about this or any other Danfoss installation, please contact us at 1-888-DANFOSS or cooling.ts.mech.na at danfoss.com.